<laughs> Hi, John. Yeah. Here we are. Pirates Galley, kids. Okay, tonight, uh, if you saw yesterday, um, I cooked off chicken in the crock pot. Okay, I'll show you. I still got some of it left, okay? Oops, wrong stuff. But anyway, I've got some cooked off chicken. Technical difficulties, okay? So I took half that chicken, about two cups of diced chicken. We're going to make... Uh, we could sell a lot of crock pots. We use them. Yeah. Boy, they're good. Yeah. Go get your crock pot, yeah. okay? And guess what? Grandma, get your shredder, okay? Because yeah. we shred our own cheese around here, okay? So anyway, listen, let's get to this, okay? Two cups is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, okay, get uh, two cups of your chopped, cooked uh, chicken, okay? Get a quarter cup of fresh cilantro chopped, okay? If you don't have cilantro, Get, get some of this stuff, okay? We're going to need cilantro in some of these dishes. Now, this is just one of the enchiladas that I'm going to show you. And this goes great with the fried rice, or the Spanish rice I made a couple days ago. Okay, that's why I showed you the rices, because now I'm going to start doing some Chinese stuff. I'm going to start doing... Oh, we're going to have scampi tomorrow. Thank you, uh... Buck Bay. Buck Bay, okay. Mark. Got, got Mark. We Tony. love you. Mark's the one that gave me the boat. Oh, and guess what, you guys? All we got to do is hook up a battery, put some gas in her, and we turn the hook key. We got to the fuel system. Fuel system. I'm sorry, kids. Fuel system and battery. Yes, and then we're on. Okay, so listen. You're going to need some Parmesan cheese. Get a couple cups of your own grated jack cheese, okay? We're going to need green chili enchilada sauce okay these are green chili ones okay get your garlic get your salt get your from Cana canadian montreal we love it okay um garlic i said okay got your cilantro and then of course i'm going to throw a little of the taco seasoning okay now another thing you can do is throw a little uh chili powder in there a little cayenne pepper whoa i like what you're doing there john okay and i use wh little white corn tortillas for this okay Get your pan. So, quarter uh, quarter cup of oil going to get this. Get your oven going to 350. Okay, we're going to throw this together. Okay, so your Parmesan. Okay, you got an eighth cup of Parmesan. Throw it right in there. Okay. Get your cilantro. Do not throw the green onions in it. Okay. It's really simple. Oh, I got a technical difficulty. Stay with me. Shout out to McCormick. Okay. They're, they're actually, uh, McCormick makes uh, Montreal, and they're from uh, Hunt, Hunt Valley, MD. Okay, there you so go. So shout out to Hunt Valley. Boy. Hunt Valley. I yeah. hope you guys are watching. Oh, yeah. speaking of watching. We'll have to visit Hunt Valley okay. one day as much as we Listen, like Listen, speaking stuff. of visiting, we had some visitors today. They've got uh, uh, Seattle um, Sailing. SeattleSailingCompany.com, okay, and they talked to me. Well, we might go down there and do a gig with them, uh, and I think they've got like 300 members. They're they're uh, watching tonight, so God bless to these guys. Okay, it now maybe just SeattleSailing.com. It could be. Okay, so here we go. Let's get our Montreal quarter teaspoon, kids. Okay, just put a quarter teaspoon of your salt in here. Okay, we want a tablespoon of garlic, okay, because we love our garlic, okay, let's do that, okay, pretty simple, you guys, and like, I, we've been working on the boat all day, come home, this is what I just decided to cook, okay, so this is what we're doing, let's just get a, a tablespoon of a, the taco seasoning in there. I use this because it's just simple. But listen, you can also throw a little chili powder with cayenne pepper. Um, and I'll show you guys on the next enchiladas how to make your own enchilada sauce. Okay, so I've got this going for the shells. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, now get two tablespoons of your green enchilada sauce. Throw it right in the meat. Okay? Okay, Grandma, get your tongs, okay? So get that in there. Okay, and then, listen, I got about two cups of cheese. These are real cheesy melt in your mouth, okay? These are really good. So I'm going to take about a quarter cup of that cheese to a third cup, okay? And I'm going to throw it right in there. Now, we've got the Parmesan in there. This is all good over here. We've got our compass. We know we're going the right way, okay? Now, just stir that up, okay? Yum. I'm 
telling you guys, these are really delicious, okay? So, that's ready to go. Okay, set that aside, okay? Get your uh, refried beans heating. Get your, uh, like I said, you can make that uh, Spanish rice in bulk. Freeze it, pull that out, man, and just reheat it like I did. But you don't have to fast fry it, just kind of slow, maybe add a little water to it. It'll come right back. It's really good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to show you how. If you didn't watch the tacos, this is, I mean, it's the same thing, but I'll show you how I do these. Get this heat going. Oh, okay, I'll be right back. Technical difficulties. A little technical difficulty. Okay, I want to dedicate this show to Jeff. Okay, this kid is amazing. Okay, he's putting out all these videos. Like I said, he, he did our video on uh, the Brampton Project. He's done all this every day. He's working, him and his brother, Matt, are busting their butt at Landmark uh, Flooring in uh, Carson City, Nevada. They got a new showroom coming out. You guys keep your eye open for this. These guys helped me remodel my mom's house. They're great. Jeff, this goes down to you. You know how much I love you. And I just want to say this to the audience, okay? This kid beat me. Every I could beat every other kid in the neighborhood, okay? But I could not beat Jeff at horse in basketball. I went down when I was remodeling my mom's horse, and I finally got him. It was on my bucket <laughs> list. So until I see you next, next Jeff, ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. Okay, let's get these shells going. Thank you, Jeff. We love yeah. you, Jeff. You were there. Okay. Here we go. We're just going to barely, you don't need, just barely get these. I'm going to show you how to do this, where I just barely roll them in the oil. Just a little bit. We just want to get them wet, and then I'll put them in there and dab them. Okay? Throw another one in. With the dry shells. Okay? I'll put this one aside. Boom. Floppy. That's how we want them. Okay? Real easy. Just flip them real quick. Okay, listen, I'm going to cook up the rest of these shells. You see what I'm doing here? Drop it in there, pat it with this. Boom, boom, boom. Throw it in there, put it aside. Be right back. I'll roll up these. We'll get these in the oven, okay? All right. Arg, arg. We're here, okay? Like you said, dedicated this to Jeff. Um, and kids, get your grades up. Let's go and get in the kitchen, all right? I've talked to some people here Around here, they're going to get their kids watching, get them in there. Like I said, you train these kids, make it fun. By the time they're growing up, they're cooking you dinner every night, okay? It's a good thing. Oh, hey, John. Hmm. Why did Count Chocula... Hang on now. I've made this joke up. Watch our show. I don't know. Because it's bloody good. Ah, <laughs> Okay, get it? Bloody good. Count Chocula, you guys. Yeah, All right, okay. here we go. That was so bad. Okay, it gets yeah. worse with time, you guys. Okay, let's roll these up. Okay, get your shells. See how soft those are? Nice. I got them all dried up. Just roll that in there. You've already got some Parmesan. You've got some cheese. Okay, roll them. Boom. Put them in the pan. Okay, with that side down. Stuff them pretty good. Okay. Get him in there. He didn't know who Count Chocula was. Uh, he was a vampire. Okay? On a cereal box. On a cereal. Chocolate cereal. Yeah. Okay. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, anyway. Here we are. Got him rolled up. This is just a little pan if you got a big family. Uh, you know, double this recipe. Um, if you want to make extra and then you can freeze them, like I said, if you've got a freezer, that's the way to go. Okay, so now we've got them all rolled up. Let's do some green sauce on here, okay? Let's get them covered, mm. okay? Yeah. Get a nice sauce on there, okay? Now, I use the whole can, okay? To this size of pan, this is an eight by eight. Okay, so if you go bigger, wiggle that around, get it in the corners, okay? Get the rest of your cheese and get her on there. Now, if you want, okay, you can, okay. Now listen, I'm not going heavy on the cheese, but you can add a little more cheese and then you can throw a little teeny bit of cheddar on here if you want, whatever. I keep them, I keep them with white, okay? Like I said, keep your green onions on the side, okay? You know how we like ours. Tillamook, 
Sour cream. And yeah. Tillamook cheese. We love Tillamook, yeah. okay? And uh, we'll be right back. I'm gonna throw these in the oven. We'll show you how they come out, guys. Look Tillamook. at the schooner. See, on their label. Yeah, see? Yeah. That's see? why we use them. We love schooners. Yeah, we do. Yeah. 25 minutes, half an hour in the oven. This is what you're gonna get, okay? Sprinkle your onions over that. As many as you like. We like a lot of onion R&Rs, mm -hmm. right? Oh, okay, and let it meat. settle in that cheese. Let this set up for about 10, 15 minutes before you even cut into these. These are real soft, cheesy, good, good enchiladas. Like I said, I'll make you other enchiladas. Okay, we've got some refried beans, some some stuff going with it with the rice you guys okay and then we of course throw on a little tillamook at the end you can also spice these up with salsas or whatever you like um you know this is all about get, getting your kids out there okay cooking you know pass this stuff on whatever uh you know love your food cook your food guys okay guys just put one little one on a plate here I'm gonna throw a little sour cream on there John? Oh, you bite it. <laughs> you take it. Okay. I'll give it a try. Well, they might think I'm lying. Okay? I'm not lying. I'll tell you the truth. Mm. Dynamite. <sighs> Over the fence, you guys are going to love these enchiladas. If you don't, you're dead. Okay? We love you. Good night. Good night, like, subscribe, comments. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.